Welcome back to The Huddle on Fox 2, brought to you by our friends at 956sports.com and powered by our friends at McDonald's. We've taken a look at what's happened around the Valley High School football scene for the past week, but let's bust out our crystal balls and see what's happening this week. It's going to be a big week rivalry-wise, and let's start it off with the, what is it, 154th <laughs> meeting of the <laughs> San Diego <laughs> Grizzlies. That's the Civil War. That bull run. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> the Cardinals and the Greyhounds getting together this week. Uh, San Benito is going to have some debut jerseys that they won in a contest from Nike for their rivalry. Unfortunately, they didn't think of Harlingen when they got these jerseys. How Gentlemen? thoughtless of them. <laughs> I know. You know, this is as good as it gets, right? You got San Benito against Harlingen, Harlingen against San Benito, right? First, you know, week one, uh, Harlingen lost, San Benito won. I hate to say this, but I think Harlingen is going to beat San Benito. All right. Coach says it's going to be one and one. Greg? Surely Harlington will be able to gain more than 47 total yards. Surely. I believe that they will. I agree with the coach. I think that they're probably going to win the game. If they had beaten Johnson, then I believe they might not have beaten San Benito. But they're going to be super mad. And that does not bode well for San Benito. Basically, even though they're playing at home, i got to go with the Cardinals. So Johnson was the motivation that Harlingen needed to beat somebody. Yeah. We're all in the grants. Look for the Cardinals to win this matchup. Donna and Weslico, they took a couple of years off. They're getting back together this Friday night. What do you mm -hmm. think? Only What I think is that I hope that we, as a community here in the Valley, collectively can put that game on and make it competitive and make it exciting, but make it clean. So I'm kind of, it's like a public service message. Let's do the right things, and let's keep this rivalry going for the next 80 years. Gene? Uh, you got two bullies in Mid-Valley right now going <laughs> up against each other. And, you know, Donna came up from a big win against PSJ North, you know, Westlaco against Ed Couch. Mm. Uh, it should be interesting, but I'm going with Donna. I'm going with the Redskins. Gene's going with the Redskins. Doc, who are you going with? Where's that crystal ball? <laughs> uh, playing in Westlaco, right? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, I would say, I would say Donna looked very good. Gosh, uh... I still think Westlake wins at home. Thanks, Doc, but we're going to go 2-1. to one. I'm picking the Redskins to beat the Panthers this Friday night. Now, in the Sugar Bowl, Santa Rosa is taking on the La Villa Cardinals. Gentlemen, what do you got? I think La Villa has too much. I'm going with La Villa. I can't go against the Cardinals. All right, we're all in agreement. going against La Villa, and Port Isabel is going to get together. Who are they taking on, Doc? Lyford, and after a loss to Brownsville Vets, another high-powered attack in Lyford. We'll see more what P.I. has this week. They played a 5A team, and I didn't expect them to, to have an easy time of it. Doc, yeah. Gene, Coach? You know, P.I. is coming back out from a tough loss, right? They, they were winning up to the end. Uh, they played a 5A school. Lyford played a, a 3A school. So I'm going with uh, P.I. All right, we're all in agreement. going for Port Isabel. Now, if you want to catch more of the show, maybe something you missed, make sure you log on to 956sports.com. That's 956sports.com. And again, thanks to our friends at McDonald's for making this possible. We'll see you next Sunday right here at 930 with our friends from Fox 2.